This is how much you can make investing $1,000 in ice cream finance in 10 days. Over $345 million. Yes, correct. You've heard this right, but is it safe to invest here? You will be surprised. In this video, you will learn everything you need to know about ice cream finance and how they can offer this insane 94,342% ROI and stay till the end because I will rate this project and let you know it's worth investing in it. So in this video, I will go over. What is ice cream finance? How much you should expect to make? My professional review of this project. Is it a scam? Is it a good investment? Should you invest in this project? AV here and today I will analyze and rate Ice Cream Finance a new tube fork on the Avalanche Network. Every day I share a new video on decentralized finance and if you like this type of content, please subscribe to support the channel. Let's get into it. What is Ice Cream Finance? Ice Cream Finance is a pure copy of Toom Finance on the Avalanche Network, so their code is a pure copy of Toom. And it uses an algorithmic token named Cream that is pegged to the price of AVAX 1 to 1, that's how it's possible to achieve such a high yield. How much should you expect to make on Ice Cream Finance? Ice Cream Finance offers a 258% daily APR on your investment as of today. And at the current rate, you should make more than 1,000x on your investment if the money compounds daily in one year. But high rewards equals big risk, and it is absolutely not sustainable. What rating do I give to this project from 1 to 10? My professional review on 10 important criteria that I use to invest in crypto projects. We will start with the first criteria, which is the audit. So has their code been reviewed by a white hat hacker? We got the information here that it is not audited, but they have included it on their roadmap and they informed people on Discord that they plan to be audited. So those are just words for the moment, but I give them 0 25 points. What do the charts look like? Their main token price went down closer to its peg, but now cream is below peg. That's not good at all. And their rewards token named C-Share lost more than 92% of its value. I give zero points for the charts. Is their team anonymous? They show this on their front page. KYC done by Assure Defy. Really good. So I will repeat that a KYC is very good for because it means that if they rug, scam, or whatever Assure Defy will reveal their identity and action can be taken against them. Personally, I have a positive feeling about ice cream finance if you look at all the tomb forks that have made a rug, all of them did not have any KYC, but then it can still happen. Full point for the KYC, do they have a strong community? Over 1,200 followers on Twitter in just a few weeks, good engagement. The fake followers audit is not so bad. Over 1,000 members on Discord, really good. Now I am not sure if it's just me, but the TVL does not show up. Anyway, for the community, they get a full point. Checking their domain name. We can check the info on their domain through the website who is and they registered on name cheap which is a reputable domain name service on the 20th of january then their information are masked so zero five points for that is ice cream finance unique as you know i will say it again it is a fork of tomb finance no uniqueness here so zero points is there enough liquidity the market cap is at three hundred thirty thousand dollars and there are over three hundred forty thousand dollars in liquidity great it means it is easy to buy or sell your tokens full point for that the code analysis of the project. On Token Sniffer, their small automated audit rates their code 35 out of 100. Here's why. The contract contains ownership functionality and ownership is not renounced which may allow the creator or current owner to modify contract behavior for example, disable selling, change fees, or mint new tokens. But note that there can be legitimate reasons for not renouncing ownership, and not enough liquidity is locked or burned which could allow for significant amounts to be removed rug pull. Few red flags but I give them 0 25 points. Are there whales that could dump the price of the token? On Snowtrace, we got the information that there are over 450 holders of the token cream. Most of the tokens are in the smart contracts, really good to know. There's a whale that has more than 1.2% of the tokens. Now that's not so bad, but I've got a small problem. It's that many of these individual addresses own quite a lot of tokens. These could be the same person that has multiple wallets, which could be a huge whale. But I can't confirm this, so I give 0 25 points for that. What does our AI at Predator predict? Using thousands of crypto projects data, our AI says that the future of ice cream finance is negative. It does not encourage investing here. Zero points here. Now for the rating of ice cream finance. They scored 4 25 points out of 10. Is that good? For a fork, it's not bad, but below 5 points, it's not considered a good project. Is this project a scam? Not known at the moment, but we can't know that in advance, of course. Just know that you won't make 345 million dollars in 10 days. It's impossible, of course. Is it a good investment and should you invest in ice cream finance? The returns that Ice Cream Finance are very interesting if you've got money you can play around with, meaning you've got no problem losing it and you're aware of the risks. The price is currently below peg, so if they can't go back up, it would be concerning, but if you get in now and it goes back up, you're getting in at a lower price, which can be an interesting move. But it's a high-risk play. If they get back to peg, you make money, but if not, you lose everything. 
If you like our AI predictions, we use an AI to predict the future prices of crypto, and that's accurate 98.7% of the time, and we share it all on my Twitter at Colin0x. Please subscribe, hit the notification, and like this video to support my work. In return, I share a new video on DeFi every day. Thanks for your support and for watching. See you in the next one.